Review of phones is so much work. There's so much to talk about. I wonder if I can do this in less than five minutes. Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome back to Too Much Tech. And in today's video, we are gonna be taking a look at the OnePlus 7 Pro. In my opinion, this is probably one of the best Android phones in its price range. Even $200 less or $200 more, this phone is hard to beat. It's easy to beat in like one key area, but I'll get to that in just a bit. Before we get into the review, I wanna let you guys know that obviously we got a ton of new content coming out that you guys don't want to miss. So if you could do me a huge favor and drop a like and subscribe to the channel and turn on those post notifications so that you don't miss any of our new videos coming out very soon, that will be greatly appreciated and I'm sure you're gonna love the content that we got coming. So the OnePlus 7 Pro, in my opinion, one of the best phones of the year. This phone does so many things well that seems like it would be really easy to do nowadays, but most phones just don't for whatever reason. The design, you got an entire screen at the very front of the display. There's very little bezel, if you can even say that it has bezel. It has a little bit at the top and a little bit at the bottom, and that's about it. You got a 6.68 inch 1440p 90 hertz AMOLED display. This screen looks fantastic. Hands down the best screen on a phone in 2019. Not necessarily because it has like the best color reproduction or the most vivid screen and bright screen for outdoor visibility. Man, this screen is so fun to use. Like I love using this phone so much. It's, it just feels fast with a Snapdragon 855 eight gigabytes of RAM, this phone flies, and the 90 hertz screen is just like a cherry on top. Not to mention that this screen also has a built-in fingerprint sensor that is so fast, it is hands down the best biometric unlock on any phone. I don't know how secure it is, like in comparison to the Samsung approach where they use like that, like, I don't know, it's like some kind of like supersonic type deal. I didn't really like it on the Note 10 Plus. I was not a fan of it but this is so fast and it works perfect pretty much every time. And that's like the whole theme with this phone. It has everything that it needs to be fast all the time, 100% of the time without fail. Like I cannot remember the last time I ran into a stutter or a hiccup or anything on this phone. Reason being probably because this phone has like that super fast UFS 3 storage, really completes the phone. You got 256 gigs of storage. I mean, you got some top end specs. I know the 7T just came out and has a Snapdragon 855 Plus. I'm pretty sure you probably can't tell the difference, but yeah, the performance is there. You also got a 4,000 milliamp hour battery. And when I tell you like this phone has some fantastic battery life, dude, this phone will last you all day long. I pretty much leave my phone at max brightness all the time just because I like it. It just it just looks better. It makes the AMOLED screen pop, makes my wallpapers pop. It just looks great. So I leave it at 100% brightness. Most of the time that I use this phone, I just left it at the 90 hertz. Like I used it at 60 hertz, dropped the resolution down to 1080p, and like the battery life was a little bit better. And I was like, eh, this thing, the battery life is so good. I might as well just leave it on 90 hertz all the time, leave the resolution at 1440p, and just let it do its thing because it looks great and it's so fun to use. And the battery, really, you can't stop it. It just lasts all day. I don't know how else to put it. It's fantastic. And if you ever are short on battery, plug this thing into the warp charger. It has warp charge 30 and it just charges so fast. Like in 20 minutes, you'll get like half a battery. It is ridiculous. And that half a battery will take you through hours of time and you won't even think about the battery life. It is just such a nice thing to have to have a huge battery with super fast charging. You never have to worry about the battery life. The design of the phone, I'll touch on that real quick. It's pretty basic. It's just super thin, super sleek. They give you a case in the box, which is really nice. Um, I don't think that there's like a pre-applied screen protector on here. Yeah, this is just the glass. Normally I use my phones as screen protectors, but I was like, eh, I don't really wanna use one cause it's all curved and stuff like that. And I hate putting screen protectors on curved phones. I wish it was flat. I don't really have that big of an issue with like edge detection because the screen kind of peels over to the side. It actually does a pretty good job of like rejecting your fingertips when you're holding down to the phone. But using a case just makes it a much better experience so you never really have to worry about it. So let's talk about where this phone starts to fall short. Just one area, like 
just the camera. That's about it. The camera is decent at best. I give it like a solid 7.5 out of 10. You got your three lenses, so your ultra wide, your standard length, and your telephoto lens that you can zoom up to like, I think eight or 10 times digital zoom. And they all do a pretty good job. I do like the angle that this wide angle is. It's not too wide where if you're really close to a subject, it's a little distorted. So that's nice but just the color is just kind of eh. the sharpness is there the clarity is there there's not a ton of noise in either three of the cameras but just the color reproduction i just feel like every time i take a picture before i post to social media i have to touch it up like i can't just take a picture feel fine about it and post it to instagram because most of the time at least to my eye the pictures look a little bit washed out and that's not the worst problem in the world. I wish that by default, there were just a little bit more contrast, a little bit more punchy, but it's really easy to fix too and make the pictures look really good. So that's kind of nice about the camera is that like it's not totally broken and you do have a ton of options to shoot raw and 48 megapixel pictures with the main sensor just to get like really sharp images and use the pro mode and 4K60 video and the camera that pops out at the top of the display that we barely talked about, that's nice too. But I mean, that camera, it's it's okay. And then every time you open it, I'll even show you the noise that it makes. It's kind of annoying, especially like when it's going off late at night or if you're using the face unlock, it's just, listen to this. Just imagine that all day. It kind of gets old after a while. It's not the worst thing in the world and it's not a bad compromise to have like this seamless display so that's really nice that kind of makes up for it and the sound isn't the worst sound in the world but if it was silent that would just be so much better but again it is a motorized part but yeah other than the camera that's pretty much the only kind of weak point i will say about the device the camera is good it's just you'll have to touch up your photos quite often before sharing them in terms of the software it's super clean you got one pluses like very slight touches added to basically stock Android. And that's really nice. I enjoy using it. I don't really like using the Android gestures. I continue to use the buttons at the bottom just because this screen is so huge that I don't mind using the buttons. It really does not bother me at all. But personally, the other key drawback that I will say about the OnePlus 7 Pro, it's a really big phone. And honestly speaking, it's not that much bigger than an iPhone 11 or an iPhone XS Max. It's just the screen is really big. So sometimes trying to reach to the top of the display, you kind of have to stretch your whole hand and kind of hold the phone a little weird. So I wish that they had a little bit of a smaller version, maybe 6.1 inches with the same 4,000 milliamp hour battery. That would be fantastic. OnePlus for the OnePlus 8, make that happen. Have like a OnePlus 8 and a OnePlus 8 Plus. That would be great. Totally buy the OnePlus 8 if they have a smaller screen size. But I get it in the market that we live in nowadays with a lot of these phones, everyone loves having the giant phone. So I understand why they did it. I think I'm just a minority. I want a little bit of a smaller phone because I kind of think they're getting too big. Like in a little bit, these phones are going to be as big as iPads. Like, trust me, you think I'm kidding? Give it like three more years. We're going to be walking around with freaking eight inch phones in our hands. It's going to be crazy. But yeah, OnePlus, you guys did a really good job at making just such a very simple, easy to use product that is extremely fast. I definitely feel the longevity. You get a ton of value for the price range, like 256 gigabytes of storage. I don't even use 50% of it. So that's really nice to have. Cameras that are decent and that hands down most fun to use screen in the market. I think they should start doing this 90 Hertz thing on every phone at this point forward. Using an iPhone, using any other Android phone, it just feels like the display is a little bit stuttery. And it's 60 Hertz, of course, is not that bad, but like, with my primary monitor when I game on at home is 240 hertz and this monitor on my phone is 90 hertz and then you start switching to other displays you kind of expect a faster refresh rate so it would be nice if more items that we use every day started adopting these faster displays thank you guys once again for coming through and staying tuned to the end of the video if you guys enjoyed be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you guys are new i will link the oneplus 7 pro and the oneplus 7t linked in the description below if you guys are interested in purchasing these phones don't forget to turn on those post notifications so so that you can stay tuned on any new videos that we are working on of course and uh yeah thanks once again for coming through i will talk to you guys 
in the next video.